Greetings everyone, P. Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to yet another episode of What's Hot with Sea Tranquility. It's Wednesday, new album review day here on the channel. We've got another one from Inside Out Music for you here today from Norway. The debut album from a band called Aukrust, I believe that's how they say their name. The album is called The Approbation. And yes, that is spelled A, V as in Victor, R, K, R, V, S, T. Uh, but I heard that the U is kind of, I mean, the, the V is spelled or is pronounced kind of like a U. So, Aukrust, Aukrust, Afrikrist, however, the approbation is the album. Like I said, it's a debut album. This band has, these guys have been playing together for well over a decade, but this is their debut album and instantly signed to Inside Out Music. And as you can see, very bleak photography, right? It kind of describes the music that you'll hear on the album. This is very much a Norwegian album. Let's take a look at the booklet. In the band, we have Simon Dolman Erkseth, Martin Utby, um, forgive me if I'm butchering this, uh, Oysten Heidi Odland, Edward Syme and Anver Garen. Okay, hope I pronounced those correctly. Uh, vocals by Simon uh, Berseth. Oh, it's Berseth, so now I'm already saying that it's got better able to read it down below. Guitars, keyboards, and bass by Simon Berseth. Drums and keys by Martin Utby, and keys by Oysten Eide Adland. Okay. Whatever, whoever's in the band, whatever they play, I don't, it's the best as I can do here. Uh, like I said, they got the name, all these names up top, but then I guess not everybody who's in the band performed on the album. Not quite sure, but anyway, it seems like the main guys are uh, Simon, Martin, and ID. I guess. I guess. And again, guys, forgive me if I mispronounced. I probably did. Anyway, uh, what's the music like? Well, you got, uh, first of all, there are only seven tracks on the album. All the songs are fairly lengthy. This is a very moody album. All right, this is not a bright, shiny, sing-along listening experience. That's not what it's supposed to be. It's not what it is. Uh, I instantly, uh, you know, a lot of times you can get promotional materials and stuff and you start reading things and that uh, the labels put together and PR firms and whatnot and they throw about lots and lots of different uh, bands and stuff to kind of listen for and I hear without even reading any of that I could hear it uh, I hear loads of like kind of like early mid 2000s porcupine tree I certainly hear lots of opeth um, both older and newer opeth uh, I hear little bits of leprous I hear a good amount of anathema I hear some anecdotin, perhaps, uh, you know, angular riffing, dramatic, ominous keyboards. You get some Mellotron, other different types of keyboards. Uh, you got occasional uh, harsh vocals, okay, but it's mostly clean vocals, but there are some harsh vocals in the spot. Um, like I said, some angular riffing, some big riffs, some more gorgeous 12-string acoustic guitar stuff. Uh, some of the songs kind of like float along, very atmospheric. Other songs are a little bit more frantic, a little bit more prog metal. There's some King Crimson dissonance going on in this album as well in spots. Uh, I actually find, though, I like the back end of the album better than the front end. This is one of those weird albums where I hear so many releases of late where the albums are so front-loaded, and then once you get to the back half of the album, you're kind of like, all right, you kind of lost me a little there. This one kind of picks up steam and gets better as it goes on. Like, I think for me, um, you know, so the names of the, the songs on here, you got uh, Oyster Dallin, The Pale Moon, Isolation. That's really good. Uh, the Great White River. Oh, it's good dramatic song right there arcane clouds that's pretty some pretty nice stuff on there but uh it's the last two uh geez adodyne and the last one the title track the approbation probably is my favorite song and that is uh pretty lengthy I forget exactly how long it was I believe it's over 10 minutes long uh and it's got some real kind of like uh, if you could think of like um comp complicated arrangements very riffy kind of like opeth that they're more prog metal stage uh, as well as some like more recent dream theater type of thing um 
really enjoy that quite a bit. I mean, it's, uh, you know, not a lot of the album I would call prog metal, uh, but that track, the title track, certainly is. This is more straight, kind. Of, it's kind of, it's Scandinavian or Norwegian prog, but very modern sounding. Like I said, there are some nice melodies on here. There's some, a lot of mellower sections. There's parts of the album, though, that I kind of, kind of lose interest a little bit, and it's mostly the first half. Again, no bad songs. There's really nothing bad on here. Uh, I just I kept waiting and waiting, and, you know, the numerous times I've heard this, I'm like, all right, I'm waiting for them to go into high gear a little bit, but the playing is all really good. But then they do tend to do that later, later on in the album. There's some gorgeous uh, acoustic guitar work on the album, too, and I believe they're playing 12 strings uh, in spots. So produced very nicely. It's a pleasing sounding album. You know, time will tell where this, to, where to see where this will sit with me long term. Uh, but I do like enough of it to, to highly recommend it to people. I think it's it's a really good listen. It's something different. Like I said, you hear little references to other bands, but they definitely have their own unique sound, and they definitely sound uh, Norwegian. Like you, you can as soon as you start listening to it, you're like, all right, that's got to be a Scandinavian band without question. Um, but yeah, it's kind of metallic, kind of not, right? complex in spots gorgeous in others uh, some of the songs are kind of dreamy and very kind of uh, almost folky sounding others are more angular kind of king crimson anecdote and type of thing and then you got like i said towards the back end you got a little bit stuff that's a little bit more prog metal too so a little bit of everything here i'm going to give it a very very solid 3.5 out of 5 stars the approbation by Auk Aukrist, however you say that a v k r v s t Aukrist. Anyway, if I'm saying it wrong, I apologize. Uh, Ken Golden and I had a whole conversation about this the other day, trying to like, how the hell you say this name? I, whatever. So anyway, that's how it's spelled, though, guys. So if you've heard it, let us know what you think in the comments below. If you have not and are interested in hearing some cool new Norwegian prog slash prog metal, definitely check this out. There's uh, lots of cool stuff on here. And then visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. All together, all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And click on that notification bell to get alert of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also, down below, we got the links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations as well as our merch page. So thanks in advance for all that. And we'll see you soon here with more stuff. I am P. Pardo. Take care. Bye-bye.